David Burns has long been a thorn in the side of the tobacco industry. That thorn just got sharper. The change in the cigarette has made being a smoker much more lethal. The cigarette itself is more lethal? Yes. For decades, scientists have been unable to explain why smoking death rates have continued to increase even though the tar content of cigarettes has gone down. Burns has charted the gap. The actual number of people dying is far in excess of the that's predicted right. number of people dying. And you can see that when you get out here, that's more than a doubling. Right. Burns blames the high death rate largely on changes in the way cigarettes have been made over the years. Fresh, smooth, and unforgettable. In the old days, tobacco was simply hung in barns to be cured. But for the past 50 years, most American manufacturers have been using a more controllable, gas-fired drying process. And that process has caused a highly carcinogenic substance called tobacco-specific nitrosamines to form in the leaf. Through complex number crunching, Burns believes he's found the connection between the higher American death rate, about 440,000 a year, and the higher nitrosamine levels. The number that I've used uh, for a long period of time has been 40% of the people uh, who smoke will die prematurely of cigarette smoking disease unless uh, they quit smoking. And this would suggest that that number probably ought to move closer to 50. For further proof, Burns looked at Australian smokers. Their cigarettes have lower nitrosamine levels than American. Their rates for the most deadly lung cancers are also lower. The tobacco industry says it has not seen the study and so can't comment on it, but notes it has not yet been subject to full scientific scrutiny. Congress is now deciding whether to move control of tobacco to the Food and Drug Administration, where the content of its product could be more tightly regulated. This new study will give proponents of that move new ammunition. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Dublin.